The greenhouse is greening. Spider plants are spidering. And we're gonna go to two. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick and I love plants. Today, we are on another planty adventure. We're gonna check things out here and then we're gonna go to Green Thumb Nursery up in Lake Forest. We're gonna go to two because when you're down here, you might as well make it worth your time and visit both these nurseries if you're coming from Northern Orange County like I am. Let's start the plant shopping. It feels so good to be back here at Plant Depot. <laughs> I haven't been here since, I mean, it's been a few months, but I had that no buy in July. I couldn't even come here to be tempted. I'm seeing some great things already. The greenhouse is really stocked. It's very green. The greenhouse is greening. Spider plants are spidering. And um, the prayer plants are not praying yet because it's daytime. And they've also rearranged some stuff, so that's exciting. And they have some Tenanthi Lubersianas back here. These are prayer plants. These are $24.99, right next to the Ficus Triangularis, the ever so fussy Ficus Triangularis. Uh, this is pretty pricey, variegated Ficus. This is $89.99. They're real finicky. And there's Ivy. I know some some of you guys like Ivy. Not not me necessarily, <laughs> but um, I do love Syngoniums, and I think Syngoniums are are really fun. They're really pretty. These are cool because I've for the longest time. Well, I still think it's special, but <laughs> I found a similar syngonium to this at a Whole Foods and it's putting out some really pretty kind of splashy leaves. It's pink with random green splashes and I love that. These seem to kind of have that. These are a little more even in the splashing. This is a pretty color. Is this the syngonium candy or the Maria Illusion? One of the two. Either way though, this is $6.99. It's a beautiful, deep color. Right next to these caladiums are these ficus burgundies. And these are $7.99. Ooh, there's a ficus ruby too. See the ficus ruby is like a pink or reddish ficus tanica, which is that one. It's like the white variegated ficus rubber tree. Let's see if they're the same price. This is called the goldfish plant. Its taxonomy name is the Columnea nematanthus. And these are really cool, but they're called goldfish plants because their flowers look like little goldfish, as you can see. Aren't those cool? And these are fairly easy house plants. Right next to the goldfish plants are zebra plants, Aphelandra squarosas. These are really beautiful, and I love these. I've talked about them before. These are only $7.99, but what I love about them is that these prominent white veins actually fill the plant up with so much water that when they're thirsty, they kind of get limp. They look like they're about to die. They, they don't kind of get limp, they totally get limp. And you just give it some water and they perk right back up. It's like a large size Fetonia. These will eventually put out really pretty yellow flowers. They're really pretty, but also kind of anticlimactic at the same time. Ooh, interesting. The Diffenbachia panther. I don't often see that. Actually, I've never actually seen one before. And this one's $7.99. Right above these zebra plants are some some of my favorite plants. <laughs> the Maranta Lemon Lime. These are $19.99. Don't be intimidated by a prayer plant. Marantas are actually quite easy. But one thing that I realized is that these need a lot more light than maybe you might think. Than what I thought, at least. I definitely had to up its light for it to be happy. And the Hawaiian Spider Plant. This large eight inch pot is $29.99.
Look, there's a large 8 inch goldfish plant. This one's $39.99. Oh, here's another lipstick plant. This one's called Purple Star. $16.99 for that. And there's the classic Ashkenanthus lipstick plant for $20.99. I do love Tradescantias. I feel like Tradescantias are very underrated. This is the Tradescantia fluminensis. See, it has the yellow and green variegation. Super pretty. These are $16.99. And there's also the Tradescantia nanook which has these big, beautiful pink leaves. These, like, feel nice and succulent, too. So these hold a lot of water. $16.99 as well. They're very easy to propagate and grow. They actually love being outside, too. Another plant that gets a lot more light, unless you don't mind it growing quite leggy. And by leggy, I mean it putting out growth where it has more stem like this and if you don't provide it with enough light it will also like revert as you can see up here it's nice and full and bushy and very variegated because it's getting plenty of light from the top hartley philodendrons are some of my favorite plants i find them hard to resist even though i know i can't but there's just something about them and I love them all. I love the regular green. I love the Brazil. They're really cool too if you have it climb up something because then the leaves get super big. The stem gets really thick and it looks like a completely other plant once it matures. Syndapsis pictus argirius for $29.99. This is one common plant that isn't often around. So if it's on your list and you see it, I say snag it, because chances are the next time you see one, it won't be an Argerius. <laughs> It'll probably be an Exotica or a Silvery Anne. And I'm not saying that the Argerius is more popular than either two. I actually really love the Exotica. It's just kind of a, a rule in life that once you're looking for something, it's instantly harder to find. Oh, that's cool. I thought these were Pothos, but the this is actually a Monstera. So this is the Monstera Laniata, and it is $19.99. There are some 4-inch lemon limes for $11.99. These Mykins are $9.99. That's more like it and the regular green heteraceum is unmarked, so maybe it's $5.99? Four-inch Syndapsis Pictus Exotica is $11.99 as well. But look at this one. This one's special. This one mutated into a Pothos Enjoy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Just kidding. Four-inch Platyceriums are $9.99. And the fern section. Oh wait, there's some four inch spider plants. The bonnie spider, the curly spider plant, $6.99 for that. We've got some piggyback plants. Another $6.99. Some selaginella, $7.99. Frosty. There's a beautiful selaginella that it looks like it's oil slicked. I saw it at the Huntington botanical garden it was so beautiful and I don't know what it is but we all fall for maiden hair ferns $5.99 for these four inch pots speaking of falling for the maiden hair fern I've actually have a confession I have been going through a calathea phase lately calatheas are just one of those things in life that I can't resist. I will just give in. I will just give in to that. Calatheas are beautiful. And you know what? I will look for each and every spider mite every day. I will spray diligently. I will 
water with love and care. As much as I talk trash on Calatheas, I do love them. There's a Calathea Lancifolia for $19.99. Uh, Calathea Rotundifolia for, I'm guessing that these are all $19.99. Yeah. There's a Beauty Star, Calathea Beauty Star. This is one of my favorites right now, the Calathea Makoyana. And what I love about them is that they can grow these large leaves. You know, I have a little baby that I've had for about two years and it's still putting out uh, smallish leaves. So I don't know how to get that other than buying one with big ones already. So you don't have to work towards larger leaves. Ooh, this one kind of catfished me. <laughs> I thought it was a lot fuller. This is the Calathea Rosie. This one looks a little too fake for me, so I was never drawn to that, but never say never because I do fall in love with plants late in the game. Like the Spathophyllum or the Peace Lily. I thought these were so boring for the longest time until I picked up a Spathophyllum Sensation. And the Spathophyllum Sensation's cool. It's got these huge leaves. Then I picked up a Domino, which is this one has these beautiful, splashy, variegated leaves. Oh. Whoa. I usually only know dominoes to have thin leaves like that. These are nice. $19.99 for these. That's one thing that I've learned from collecting plants is that as much as I love collecting all these like exotic plants that are hard to keep alive, <laughs> I really love the plants that give me the least amount of headaches. And the Spathophyllum Sensation and the Spathophyllum Domino are one of them. This one I don't have yet, but I think it's also beautiful. This is the Spathophyllum Platinum Mist. Check out the beautiful platinum leaves on this beauty. This is a cool find. The Rafidophora decursiva, the dragon tail. And this one's $29.99. It's cool growth though. I totally see that growing on the jungle floor. I love the Pilea peperomioides. People always say that they have trouble with this one. I'm guessing it might be a light issue because I keep mine outside and they're pretty happy in full shade. Love Diffenbachias. Diffenbachias are also very chill. These are $19.99. Did I say Diffenbachias? These are Aglianemas. Can I start that over? Okay. Aglianemas are so chill. Ooh, let's check out some begonias. Begonia Tiger Paw. These have been popping up everywhere. These are $14.99. Ooh, this one's nice and full. Actually can't wait to repot my Begonia Tiger Paw, which I'll actually be doing in my Patreon. Check out my Patreon for that upcoming video. And the Begonia Josephine. These are so cute. I'm loving cane begonias lately. All begonias, actually. Oh wow, that flower is so pretty. I almost missed these Pothos Enjoy. $19.99 for the six inch hanging baskets of the Pothos Enjoy. Oh, and $24.99 for these Philodendron Lemon Limes. The Alocasia section, this is always exciting. I love alocasias. This is an alocasia bambino. I don't have this one yet. These are really cute though. And this is the alocasia ivory coast. $13.99 for this. Here's another. See, I love how big the leaves get. Alocasia black velvet for $19.99 for a four inch pot. Ooh, alocasia dragon scale. And 
$9.99, that is a good deal. I have to get that. <laughs> and the Alocasia Silver Dragon. Wait, let's see how much the Alocasia Silver Dragon is first. $15.99. Wow, I'd say that I am walking away with a steal. Some begonias. These are $12.99. And, oh, look. This Hoya, wait. This Hoya Curtisii is nice and green. This is what they look like when they're not sun stressed. And this is what they look like sun stressed. And a string of turtles. This is a Peperomia, as you can tell by the inflorescence. See, this inflorescence is this little structure with tons of flowers on it. That is the Peperomia prostrata. I love when string of turtles get that puffy look to them. Kind of like marbles. I don't know, it's hard to explain. These are $19.99 and these are $29.99. Ooh, that one's nice and full. Ooh, that one's really nice and full. <laughs> and then there's also a variegated string of pearls. Whoa, that one's $39.99. Hoya Macrophylla for $29.99. And there's a Hoya Crimson Queen for $29.99 as well. So much sun stressing. So cute. Yeah, they get pink when they sun stress. Ooh, look at these large black velvet leaves. These are $39.99. Oh no, $49.99. <laughs> My bad. There's a Alocasia Pink Dragon for $20.99 and Alocasia Low Rider. Nice, they also have Alocasia Regal Shields. This one's in an 8 inch pot. I wonder how much this one is. It's $46.99. Phalaenopsis Orchids for $29.99. The minis are $19.99. I love the minis because when they bloom, they bloom plentiful like that. Look at this. All these are coming from one plant. Isn't that spectacular? And I love the Phalaenopsis flowers that look like this. You know, versus this. Like, I love these too. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't see these very often and I love the way they look. They have sensitive plants. This is the Mimosa pudica, also known as the sensitive plant. And these are really cool because these move once you touch them. Isn't that cute? I'm so excited because these plants kind of mean a lot to me. They're very sentimental, nostalgic, whatever. But I finally figured out how to make one happy or how to keep one happy here in California. Surprise, surprise, it's my Mars Hydro Grow Tent. The heat and the humidity in there is just right, and the, the light is, is also, like, it's just putting out so much new growth. But one thing, though, that I have learned is that it's so thirsty, which makes a lot of sense, because it rains a lot in the Philippines, and I end up needing to check this for, um, I just like check its pot every day to see how light or heavy it is and I end up having to water it maybe every other day. I'm really excited that it's happy. I love this one. Look how tall that is. But yeah, the one I have is beautiful. It's in a large, well, large compared to these four inch pots. It's in a six inch pot and I, it's one of my favorite plants right now. <laughs> Whoa, I'm glad I came back here. I almost missed these Hoya Croniana Super Silvers. These are $13.29. It's Super Silver. I prefer to use Super Silver. I mean, as should everyone. I oh. Look, they have the Pseudo Bombax Ellipticum for $59.99. They used to have large form Monsteras, and I'm here to check to see if they have any still since K 
Kaylee Ellen said that it was rare. And, yep, they all seem to be the smaller form Monstera Deliciosa now. Very cool. They have some Aspidistra, or the cast iron plant. And they also have the uh, Milky Way one, which is, this is a good find. The regular ones are $39.99, and Milky Way is $44.99. Whoa, check out these begonias. They are monstrous, and they're blooming like crazy. $29.99 for these. And I always love their Tritoscantia here. Wow, here's the backside view of those begonias. Those are awesome. They have a largish selection of coleus. And here are more of those Tritoscantias. They're just like these dense balls of plants. And they're only $24.99. That's such a good deal. Can't come here without checking out their cacti and succulents, so let's go. Oh wait, look. Here's some spider plants planted in the ground. And you'll see these will start to fill in because what they do is they propagate themselves in nature by putting these growers out or these little little baby spiders and once they find the ground they'll root and take off and become their own mother plant the circle of life Ooh, ooh. they have monkey tail cactus and these are $10.99. Nice. Look, this one's putting out babies. Oh, this one's putting out more babies. Oh, that one's kind of putting out bigger babies. I have a monkey tail cactus and I cannot recommend it enough. I think it's so beautiful. Mine's just starting to flower and it's such a beautiful cactus. See when it grows, it grows, it trails down the pot and the hairs are nice and soft. So it's just this huge fuzzy, cactus just spilling over a pot and then it flowers these bright inflorescent wait inflor wait fluorescent <laughs> inflorescence is fluorescent wow ooh are these what euphorbia obesa seed pods look like that's cool oh and look they labeled them male and female see euphorbia obesas are either male or female and you could tell by the flower Oh, here's a male one. I wish this one was flowering still so we could tell the difference. Or at least I can show you. But it has the label that I can show you. Ah, these are all $2.49 for the succulents. There's tons of Echeveria uh, Semper Vivum, that one with a cobweb looking thing around it. And Kalanchoe. Haworthias. Haworthia for $2.49, that's a pretty good deal. Whoa, these are cool. These are Orbea variegata. These kind of remind me of Stapelias. Ooh, I found this one, and it looks like this one's about to have a flower open up. Some dragon fruit. Look at this one. These are $49.99. Have you tried dragon fruit? I mean, it sounds cool and it looks awesome, but the taste was lackluster. I mean, maybe I just don't know how to choose a right dragon fruit, so I will try it again. I'll try anything twice. <laughs> that was fun and productive. I'm excited. I got one of these self-watering pots and I'm really excited to try it out. Anyways, on to the next nursery. hot one. It's hot in here, but you know what? The plants are loving it. Aren't those the happiest looking obovadas? Ooh, the Tenanthi Burl Marks is only $11.99. That's such a good deal. $21.99 for these. Monstera Adansonii. Ooh, I haven't seen this Calathea too much here. I remember seeing these everywhere in Florida. This is the Calathea Leopardina. Here's another 
10 on the Burl Marks. Oh, this is $21.99 though. No, excuse me. $21.99 for this beautiful Calathea Makoyana. And I've been seeing these everywhere now, these Calathea Rotundifolias. Oh, remember earlier how I was talking about the Spathophyllum Sensation? This is the Spathophyllum Sensation. See, this is the regular Spathophyllum. And then this is the Sensation. Just big, gigantic leaves. How much are they here? $26.99 for that. $24.99 for this beautiful Spathophyllum Platinum Mist. You know what Spathophyllum I'm wanting now is the Spathophyllum Picasso. That one's a beautiful Spathophyllum. Spathophyllum Domino. See this one? Does what mine does and I love it. The flower or the, the spathe of the inflorescence, which is that kind of modified leaf, is variegated versus just all white, you know? I think that's really cool. Diffenbachia Camouflage. These are $14.99. There's a few different types of Diffenbachias, actually. This is the Tropic Snow. This is the Tiki. <laughs> and this is the Camille. $19.99 for these. Alocasia Amazonica. Ooh. And they have Silver Dragons in six inch pots for $21.99. Is this one variegated? Maybe it's just sick. Whoa, this Homolomina Emerald Gem has got to be one of the largest I've seen and it's putting out some inflorescences. $16.99 for this. And the Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole. This one's $21.99. Ooh, look at this beautiful Alocasia Sarian. This is a nice big leaf. This one's $39.99. Ugh, I am dying. <laughs> and I'm brought back to life. This is exciting. Look at these. Philodendron Mykins growing up a stake. So they get nice and huge. Oh, this is awesome. These are $46.99. See, it's attached itself quite nicely to that stake. See, and when it does that, it looks very much like a phil philodendron Milano Chrysum. This philodendron Mykins was like, Did you say stake? Ooh, look at these. Inner variegated Hoya Carry Eyes. These are very pretty. $61.99 for these. And $24.99 for these Hornias. It is hot in here, so um, let's go outside. Oh man, these are only $12.99 and I paid $16.99 at Plant Depot. I got gypped. Well, joke's on me because it's hot out here too. <laughs> Ooh, they have large Pseudo Bombax ellipticums. Let's see, I love that new growth. These are $79.99. Look at how juicy these string of pearls are, and there is a free volunteer plant right there. I don't know what that is. Imagine if I touch that thing and it starts to move. <laughs> Euphorbia milliis. Loving Euphorbia milliis lately. These are $19.99. Those hanging rip solace back there, those are $24.99. Whoa, this Euphorbia Medusa is only $10.99. I feel like that's a crazy good price. Wow, these large golden barrels are $1.99. I feel like I can feel myself withering and I can feel my content withering as well. Maybe it's time to escape the heat and end the video here. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Whoa, whoa. Wait, look at these bananas. They have large bananas, red bananas for $74.99. Look at the little bunny. You see him? 
I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.